semen. Gum. It's a noun that was first dated in writing around 1920 with a dictionary, but today we're gonna try it out to see if we can't make up a feast that is semensational. Semensational. <laughs> New word. Look it up. A ghost. We have ghost. <laughs> we have fucking ghosts. Hello! Welcome back to What's Safe Word? I'm Amp. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today we are back in the kitchen to cook up some trouble from Paul Forty. Help! Why? Well, the last time we did this, we got a little drunk. Mm -hmm. Baby drunk. <laughs> oh, wait. I am drunk. <laughs> so, I don't think that's gonna happen this time. We are gonna be on point. We are gonna make the food and it's going to be delicious. Mmm! So good and tasty! And so in today's episode, I've outlined three little courses in here. A full appetizer, a meal, and a dessert that we're going to make with our artificial semen. If you want to see how to do that, we did that in the last episode, but proof, we've already made it right over here. How is it? It's the perfect consistency. Actually, it's a little gloppy. <laughs> Actually, no, it's got a good runny consistency. And we're doing this so you don't have to. <laughs> Today, we're not using any actual cum. We're not using any actual semen. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. We're just cooking three meals to keep daddy fed. Um, I've decided to give us a three course meal today. A nice appetizer to get our palate started with these spunky candy pecans. Ooh, I love candied pecans. Followed by a main course of noodles with special spicy sauce. Ooh, I like special spicy sauce. Oh, I wonder what makes it special. And last but not least, dessert with some creamy cum crepes. Cum crepes. <laughs> Though, while we are cooking today, I'll give you some cum facts via Questions for Daddy, where we learn a little bit about the human body and experience, because this is what, Daddy? Delicious. Educational. Educational. And meant for education. Ed education t monitors who Delicious look education. at videos, TOS, we're following the rules. Education. We're gonna start out with these spunky candy pecans today. Spunky candy pecans are a great party snack. Prepare well in advance and let your guests enjoy the delicious nuts Ah, uh, so I need half a cup of sugar. Sugar. Three cups of pecan. Get those nuts. Probably a few cups of pecans. Three tablespoons melted butter. I've got a stick of butter specifically for that. Okay. And a half teaspoons full of fresh semen. I got the semen. Oh, semen's right there. Yeah, got it. Great. Toss the pecans gently in the melted butter on a large baking sheet. So we're gonna go and use a gigantic glass bowl to get all of our butter in there, nice and melted. <laughs> the way it landed just like <laughs> perfectly on its edge is just funny to me. I don't know why. Okay, so you're gonna toss the pecans gently in the melted butter, bake at 350 degrees. Ooh, several minutes until the nuts are lightly brown. Okay, so this is three cups of pe pecans. Ready? Ooh. Mm. Wait. No, don't. Mm. Daddy, do you actually know why it's called cum? Why is it called cum? So it was thought to have been used in a poem back in like 1650. Um, the poem wasn't that great, but it was referencing a way in which you kind of got off. And rather than to say you were coming, they said to come. And thought that it kind of evolved from there and they've added the C-U-M usage. Oh, okay, would you stop touching my nuts, please? Wait a sec, wait, we've got, we need the apron up before we get really into this. Oh yeah, we were gonna make it nicely, right? So before you make a mess. Before I make a mess? I am clean as a whistle. We've got our handy dandy aprons. I've got our, our Safe Word Shop dog aprons. We've also got good boys, good girls, and good pups in the shop if you're at all curious. Now we need to put on a baking sheet. Uh -huh, this much. Sheet. On 350 degrees, several <laughs> minutes until the nuts are lightly brown. So let's transfer that to the baking sheet. All right. It's also thought that like using come versus to come was because someone was wanting to be informal or more formal as they were talking about the ejaculatory process itself. My buttery nuts, you like my buttery nuts? Yeah, I'll take that. So I'm gonna put the timer on for five minutes. Okay. So while that's cooking, this is where we add a little more butter. Okay. Your half cup of sugar. Okay. Vodka. So daddy, while we're waiting for that all to microwave and cook, I'm curious, do you think that it's possible to freeze cum at home? 
Does cum freeze? Well, that's is, what, that's the is question. Is it like alcohol? Alcohol doesn't freeze. Vodka? No, it's not like alcohol. Though, could you be drunk on cum? Drunk in love. Mm -hmm. drunk. <laughs> oh, wait. It takes tons of liquid nitrogen and a whole team of scientists to properly get those sperms all frozen. So if you try to DIY it at home, you would end up just killing most of them in the process. Now, this is the most important ingredient. This is where we take the two tablespoons of semen. Oh. Yeah, look at that. And you know what? Just because I'm feeling generous, just a little bit more. Ooh, this is a really good consistency. Look at this. It looks like frosting and I hate that it looks really good. Mmm, butter, sugar, gum, what's not to like? Okay, I don't hate it. <laughs> Sweet, of course you don't hate it. Well then, while we wait for our nuts to properly roast, I have another question for you, Daddy. True but, or false? Can you be allergic to cum? Probably. I would say, because people are allergic to everything. <laughs> True. There's, there's different levels of sugar and whatnot in your body that goes into the semen that comes out of your body. So you can, in fact, be allergic to your own semen or someone else's for that matter. Oh, nuts are ready. <laughs> Ooh, these smell good. All right, shut up. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. All right. Honestly, those just look really good as it is. Really good. Ooh, they're hot. It, it, it. So now we're going to put a little of our cum sauce. Oh my God. Now I'm just gonna mix it all together. <laughs> get it all, get it all spunky up in there. <laughs> uh, it says to put it in for another five to eight minutes until the sugar hardens and then let cool before serving. So we'll finish with this. We'll let that cool and we'll get on to the next course. So we'll have hard nuts. Your nuts. Get those nuts. And hey, while we're waiting for our nuts to bake, why not try out today's sponsor that's helping us get some sleep, Helix Sleep. Which if you've never heard of Helix Sleep, they're today's sponsor and they make premium grade mattresses that are made to fit your sleep style. And they do that with a very special quiz that's not a nightmare. It's a quiz you can take by yourself or with a partner to find a mattress that is perfect for you. You tell them your name, your age, your height and weight, as well as preferred sleeping positions. I'm personally more of a back and side sleeper and I like a medium to firm mattress. And maybe you were destroyed by COVID entirely and you just have aches and pains in the morning. You can even include that information. Based on my results, Helix matched not only myself, but also daddy with the Dusk Lux which we've had for over three years now. And both of us independently have been sleeping like rocks. When I'm not sleeping in my bed, I do not sleep well. And when it comes to sex, ooh, Helix also does great there as well because they're also getting awards for the best mattresses for sex with a hybrid combination of foam and springs, you will sleep wonderfully. Unlike other brands, Helix mattresses do not contain fiberglass, which can be harmful to your health. And the Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including award-winning Lux and Ultra Premium Elite collections, the Helix Plus, which is a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers, and even Helix Kid mattresses, which are designed for growing bodies and endorsed by sleep and medical experts. The best part though, is Helix Sleep delivers directly to your door with free shipping in the US, and it comes rolled up in a lovely little box, and the vacuum-packed like mattress that it comes with is probably my favorite part to open. And when you open it, you get the patented daddy sound. You guys like me are very nervous to buy things online. You'll also be very happy to hear that Helix has a hundred night sleep trial. So you get more than three months to make sure you love it. Plus Helix has a 10 year warranty on your mattress and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans. Click the link down below or visit helixsleep.com slash watt to get 20% off your own Helix mattress plus two free pillows on us. Thank you again, Helix Sleep. Okay. All right, are we moving on to the next course? While we, we are. Wait? The main course though is gonna be our nudes and there's nothing that says cum and semen. Cum and sperm. More than some consensual, of course, nudes. Oh, noodles. I was wondering what you meant by nudes. <laughs> noodles with special spicy sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, this is a lot. For this recipe, you're gonna need one package of nudies or linguine. <laughs> Call them nudies. Noodles. Noodles. <laughs> or linguine. One tablespoon soy sauce. That's soy sauce. One tablespoon sweet chili sauce. Chili sauce. Half cup chicken or vegetable broth. We got the broth. Semen. Got it. Clove chopped garlic. So we got just a, we have a full clove. Tablespoon chopped ginger. I got some squeezed ginger because I'm fancy like that. Uh, assorted fresh vegetables. So today we got a green pepper, a carrot, and some nice green and white onions that we'll cut up. 
and a tablespoon of olive oil. And to be fun and fancy, because this didn't have any proteins in it besides the chicken broth, I decided we're gonna put some chicken in it as well. Oh. Because I know that you- You're ad-libbing. It's really important, not only in the bedroom, but in the kitchen, that you ad-lib and you have a little fun. <laughs> hey, my spoon. My spoon? Okay, boil the noodles or pasta and drain. Did you get some salt in here? I did not. All right. Oh yeah, oh, uh, uh, uh. Are you edging the salt now? Uh. While the water boils though, Daddy, why don't you go ahead and slice up the veggies, okay. and I am going to get this concoction for the semen all together, which is gonna be using the semen, the soy sauce, and the spicy chili. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sir, <laughs> would you please be careful with the equipment? Put the, oh my God. We're gonna do a little time hop where Daddy doesn't scare the entire audience with his knife skills on this part, I think. <laughs> ah! All right, water is boiling. So time for the linguini. Do you ever send nudes to people without permission? Not without permission. I still don't understand how people are thinking that that is even somewhat appropriate to do. Do you ever just do something that doesn't end in chaos? These are my nudes. <laughs> Enjoy my nudes. <laughs> I'm I am not even as a demisexual. I am not against nudes. I'm just more into insightful, meaningful, and intentional nude. You know, like I don't want it just sent because someone's horny. I want it sent because they were thinking of me. Just a whole shot does nothing for me. Just a whole. Yeah. Whole. Just a whole whole. Ah, uh, but why? I don't. There's. It feels more impersonal, or yeah, it just it's just in. Hole in your face. Say hole one more time. Hole. We'll go ahead and set a timer for about nine to ten minutes there, depending on how limp we want our noodle to be, while we get the rest of these ingredients fried and ready. All right. So the next thing we need to do is move the nuts. That look delicious. And we're gonna fry in some olive oil. Oh, that's all. Oh, okay. You gotta fry it. So it's calling for how much ginger? Oh, a tablespoon. Okay, here's a tablespoon. That's, that might have been. Oh, okay, well. And I'll go ahead and get the semen mixture with the chili and soy sauce ready to top everything else. Now before this, somebody was nice enough to make some artificial semen and then put the spoon away back in the, the, the cabinet <laughs> without cleaning it. it. It is dry. Can you guess, can you guess it's, who might have done that? It's fine. <laughs> So, it says to do about one to two tablespoons of each of these. Ah! Guys, I'm this gonna get a little bit of semen in here. God, doesn't that look good? It smells great. I'm great! Okay, and then we're gonna add that. Peppers and carrots, and just get those nice and brown, get them nice and soft. Got about six minutes till the noodles. Oh my God, too much steam, too much steam. <laughs> Ooh, daddy, you just got so much sex. Stop eating the food! Daddy, I have a question for you. Yeah. If a penis haver produced normal levels of sperm for their entire livelihood, how many trillion sperm do you think they would create in their lifehood? Trillion yeah. sperm. Yeah. 98 trillion. Holy <laughs> Trillion? No. Try a little bit smaller. Two trillion. Exactly. Wait, how did you? <laughs> I just took the two from the <laughs> Out of the two trillion that are created in a normally livelihood, uh, about only 700 billion of those are actually shot out of the body, which actually adds up to 7.5 liters of sperm from one single person in their lifetime. That is a lot of cum. I'm mixing up our sperm chili soy mixture here, which actually has a nice smell to it. It's a good taste there. So it says to take our little concocted mixture and put that in with the veggies for a minute or two. Oh, okay. Just to cook it down and all together. And then while you do that, I'll get the strainer ready for the noodles. Just to keep it warm. Woo! And while that finishes cooking, we'll throw these in the air fryer. I'm always a fan of air frying things, and this was honestly a life changer for me. So we'll put the chicken in here. Uh, we're not gonna be animals, and we're gonna definitely salt and pepper them. While Daddy takes care of the heating of the sauce and the veggies all together, I'm gonna get our chicken in an air fryer because I'm lazy and they didn't call for chicken anyway, so this is just a little extra. And then last but not least, a little chicken broth to keep that liquid going. While the brothy mixture and veggies simmer just a little bit, which I wish Daddy would do sometimes when he gets too excited, 
the nudes are all done and we're just keeping them nice and warm. But daddy, while you do that, I've got a question for you. True or false, sperm can live inside the mouth longer than a day. Oh, inside? Probably false. Eh. Theoretically, say some experts, it can live inside the mouth for a day or two. It's said that a warm, wet environment is very conducive to, well, swimming. But Who can hold a sperm in their mouth for a day? Speaking of heating up, are you watching that? Totally. Okay, we'll plate this up and put them to the side. I swear, if you do not stop eating the food before we can get there, it's called a taste test and you're not taste testing, you're cheating. I will give you my honest opinion when I have a mouthful. How about you put the crusty pecans on the plate okay. and then I will get the ingredients ready for the very last part, which is the dessert. They crusted up nicely. They did. It was true. You had to you had to let them sit for just a second before. I swear I'm gonna sleep. We're gonna keep these just nice and warm while we wait. And then last but not least, we are going to make probably the most important meal of the day. They don't call it a cum shot for nothing. You don't get paid. It's a money shot because it comes at the end, right, Daddy? Crepes. We're, I've never made crepes actually before, have you? I've never made a crepe either, and they're complicated. They're hard. So oh. creamy cum crepes. Crepes are very versatile and can be as light snack, breakfast, or dessert, depending on the filling you choose. The subtle nuances of the semen in these crepes can be complemented by a dry cider. So we could pair it oh, with a cider. I don't have any cum cider, but... No, I'm sure that's in the other book. <laughs> And it has two distinct parts to the recipe itself. So of course the crepes itself call for three eggs, one cup flour, one cup milk, half a teaspoon salt, two tablespoons of melted butter, and then the filling itself is half a cup of cottage cheese, two tablespoons semen, a third cup melted butter, and one fourth cup powdered sugar. So daddy, let's get all those ingredients together. So it says blend all ingredients for the crepes until smooth. Okay. So that's three eggs. Actually kind of surprised that none of those eggshells made it in. Nope, spoke too soon. <laughs> three eggs, one cup flour, one cup milk, half teaspoon salt. Okay, the one cup of milk. Speaking of milking things, have you noticed how popular cows have become online? Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. And I mean this in like a, a milking sense, like you you get milked or you're kind of sexualizing the whole bull experience. Yeah. Butter! Yeah, so much online. Are cows a new puppy? I have noticed online after we talked about it, a lot more cow like toys. I see udders, I see hooves. What do you think of that though? Is it is it because people like milking? Yeah, I think it's like the objectification of it. People like to be treated like animals. Um, this isn't working. It's a little lumpy. I think I've got an idea. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, okay. what better way to get a little mixing in here than with a bit of vibration? I think it needs to go higher. Look at that. It's actually working. It's Keep going. getting all the lumps out of not only your sub, but hopefully your batter as you're baking. <laughs> I am actually shocked that that works. Perfect for sending some good vibrations. No, put it back down. <laughs> okay, what's going on? <laughs> because your oven's not the only thing you're gonna turn on. <laughs> Vibration is a great way to not only get your partner stimulated, but helps to do something that your human body can't always do, which is vibrate quickly and hit those pleasure centers. Great for relieving those knots in your partner as well. And cleaning your batter off in the process. Thank hey. you. Hey. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> hey. Oh, crepe. Ow. Oh, Jesus. So the batter's all ready, right? Yeah, the batter's ready. So that'll be for the crepe itself. Let's go ahead and get a half cup cottage cheese. Okay. Which I've never had cottage cheese before. And I think it's a texture thing. Ever? Ever. How? By not eating it, it turns out. <laughs> serious, oh you I'm being try serious, it. I'm being serious. It's so good. And that just looks like clumpy cum. Look, we'll use the cum spoon. Why do we have to call it that? <laughs> just taste. Okay, don't look at it, look. Just taste it. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby. It's Bobby. like a dog that doesn't want to eat something. Don't make me hide it in your bone. Yeah, I'm still not a fan, personally. It's good. It's like chunky cheese. I, it makes it worse when you say that. <laughs> half a cup of that, please. We're gonna start the mixing of the filling, which is a half cup cottage cheese, which is disgusting, still, it's in my own opinion. Not. That's my opinion! 
two tablespoons of semen. Ooh, yay, my favorite. So, who doesn't help the cottage cheese? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Come Mountain. Charlie, can... welcome to Come Mountain, Charlie. <laughs> Followed by a third cup melted butter. And last but not least, to sweeten the deal, a fourth cup of powdered sugar. Ooh. Daddy, <laughs> does semen have a smell? That's your next question. Does semen have a smell? It smells like cheese. <laughs> the answer is yes. Healthy sperm does in fact have a bit of a smell. And last time we did this, you said that semen usually smelled of what? Chlorine. Healthy semen according to experts, should have a bit of an alkaline smell. Yeah. Not 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 so much chemically pool smell, but alkaline might be kind of similar, depending on how terrible your nose is. But bleach or ammonia smells are normal, and pools use bleach, so I'll give you a point on that one. Thank you. But I am curious, what does a sweet smelling semen, like this mixture maybe, usually indicate? That you're eating too many donuts. <laughs> Well that, but also if your semen does have a slight taste that is sweet, it could be early stages of diabetes. So if your partner has lovely tasting semen and they haven't had tons of pineapple or something, maybe just politely say, oh my God, your semen tastes really nice. I saw in this one video of what's a savor that if that happens to be the case, you might have diabetes. No, it's not that you have diabetes, but that is actually a symptom that, that says you might be early stage diabetic. And so you should probably change your diet, but also go get tested. All right. What do we do next? So step two, after you've made all of your crepe batter, you're going to get a butter on a pan. Get it. Oh, yeah. oh. Swirl it around into a circle. Not just a Very, hand very hand. thin. Very thin. Okay, let that, maybe let that, yeah, let that, let that, get that. Oh. Wait, I swear, he is so impatient. <laughs> what, I don't, you don't want it to burn. Oh, he's double handing it. Oh! Oh. Wait, that actually worked! I know! That's not surprised that you hear, that is... Yes, it is! <laughs> it's got like actual definition here. Look at you cooking. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to put it in that. I think you're supposed to put it in it and then fold it on a plate. No, what are you... Oh my god. Um... I think... I still think that you're not supposed to... You're supposed to... Scoop the, the stuff in a flat crepe, I think is what. That was a flat crepe. No, separately, off the off the burner. All right, we'll do it your way. Expectation versus re What the fuck is, <laughs> why are you, why? We're trying to have food and you keep ruining everything. No! <laughs> Done. Is that what you wanted? They look a little it's sad. It's great. Well. <laughs> oh. You just gotta be delicate, you know? You just get a little. You just gotta be delicate with little guys, you know? Just, just, shh, just gotta, shh, just gotta be very gentle with like them. And, cool. So we'll make a few of these, we'll get our mixture, we'll put it on in there, and then, yeah, they do kind of flare out a little bit. They're gay crepes. Saying, hey. Well, no, not ready yet. That one's not ready. Much like a crepe, never force someone to do sex stuff they're not ready to, okay? He wasn't ready yet. He wasn't ready to top. I think he's ready to top now, though. Oh, yeah, he is. That, look at that. That was good. That is probably our best crepe yet. Oh, oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, we did it. Now it kind of looks like a goldfish. <laughs> well, it's a goldfish butt plug. Okay. I've never made crepes before, but that turned out pretty okay, I think. They look like little tiny flat pancakes. So I say let's make a few on our plate here. We can, we can fill them up and roll them. I don't know if we have to do like a nice burrito like he did, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at that, that's some good crepe bitch right there. I'm still not a fan of cottage cheese, but this this at least looks cute. Oh yeah, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna roll her up. We'll have one really good, like full one. Oh, okay. Ours don't look as golden as theirs. Well, ours were also made by two idiots who don't know how to bake, so. <laughs> I guess that one's as golden. No, okay, don't put these so look. aggressively. <laughs> Stop! I'm ruining it. But not bad. Not far off, honestly. I mean, it looks similar. I think our crepes are definitely fluffier. Our meal is complete. All right, so we have to start with the appetizer. Yeah. So which are the candied pecans. We're gonna start with the candied pecans. Who they look very candied. They look really nice and crispy. The sugar and and whatnot is all on the edges. Good. Honestly, nice, sweet, 
tastes like Christmas. They're soft, but they're not too soft. They have a nice crunch to them. Mm. I wouldn't have known that you made cum. Mm. I wouldn't have known. I can't taste your cum in this anyway. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but whoever made these might need to get checked for diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Very sweet. No, I'm kidding. It should be stated, for any of these dishes, you're not serving this to people randomly. You have their consent. Like, you can say, like, I made fake cum. That's fun and silly. But if you're serving any actual bodily fluids, you have to have permission. Please tell them. Should we try the next meal? Mm hmm This whole chicken noodle dish, I'll be honest, it looks very, like, kind of messy, the way that it's made, you know? It looks a little messy, it looks a little janky, but it, it's, it tastes a little Asian, Thai. Mm. It's kind of... Tastes very Asian. It's very basic, though. It needs a little more flavor. It's not mm. bad. It, it's, a, it's a pretty decent dish. It's not bad. But all right, this crepe dessert. I, I'm not excited by it. Well, only it's because you have like this thing against cottage cheese. No, because cottage cheese just it seems it sounds gross. It does look good, so let's dink it. Okay. Boom. And sink it, but you gotta make sounds like you're sucking a dick. Mmm. Oh my god. You like it? That's really good. <laughs> I mean, it's like pancakes with just like mm -hmm. creamy, sugary, mm -hmm. chunky cheese. It's not even chunky. Fuck the pasta. I'm just going to eat another two of those. Mm -hmm. This is a solid 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Pasta, I give it a 6 out of 10. The nuts. That's pretty good. I give a solid 8. So, Daddy, mm -hmm. what do you think of our semen crafted three course meal. I have to say not bad. It's actually not even a lot of work. No. It's pretty easy. Boiling pasta, dicing some vegetables. Did add a lot of sugar though. True. But also, I've never made crepes or candied nuts before. I know and I think we did good. I think we did pretty decent. Yeah. Well, maybe you guys should try this out at home and do your own recipes and then let us know how it went for you. And it's a great thing you can do with your partner. Yeah. So uh, thank you, Paul, for writing not one, but two cookbooks that we've now tried. <laughs> and decimated. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I do want to say, some of these recipes are fun, some of them are cute, some of them even taste great. But at the end of the day, it's the experience and the fun that you get to have in the kitchen with or without your partner that really makes it kind of top notch, really comes out on top. And I love that my partner had to make the ingredients, literally. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And what better way to end a really good meal than with a little nap? So thank you again to today's sponsor, Helix Sleep, for sponsoring not only this mess, <laughs> but making sure this mess gets sleep at the end of the day. Daddy nap. And make sure that whether you're cooking up trouble in the kitchen or the bedroom, you always have a safe word. Today's safe word, Daddy is... Mm, yeah? Can I get a oh, yeah? Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this recipe and you want to see us bake any other ones. If you like these videos, please leave a like below. Ring the bell if you want to get notified. And don't forget to subscribe to What's Safe Word. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. 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 Oh my God, excuse me. <laughs> I was holding that in for this. I was holding that in. I was trying not to burp. <laughs> don't go chasing semen balls. Ew. Just stick to the... That's a TLC song I've never heard. <laughs>